So you have big breasts. To men, this means. To your girlfriend, this means. I'm the winner. Is... Me, congratulations. Must be nice. To you, you are the only one feeling frustrated because nothing ever fits you right. So today, let's look at the best clothing hacks for your big breasts. Hack number one, wear lower necklines. I'm talking about U neckline, deep V neckline, sweetheart neckline, anything that goes lower, they create a lot of space in this area and that is most flattering for you. This may sound surprising because a lot of times when someone with big chest wants you downplay her breasts, you typically tend to want to cover it up. But here's the thing, the more you cover up in this area, the more you're gonna draw attention to your breasts. If you wear a turtleneck, not only they might make your breasts look like balloons, but also all well, the focus is on your breasts. But does that mean you have to throw away all the turtleneck in your closet? Not at all. I'm gonna show you how to wear turtleneck later, but generally speaking, stick with lower necklines and that is most flattering on someone with a big breast. Number two, stay away from any oversized chunky sweaters. These are so cute, they're so on trend, but on you, they're just not the most flattering style. If you have big breasts, typically that also means your shoulders are thicker and your arms are fleshier because women's arms and breasts come hand in hand. These sweaters are so chunky, they add so much bulkness, they are only gonna make your top half look even heavier. So if you're really in love with cable knits, you love the texture, go with something more fitted, thinner, like this. Always cinch your waist. This is so critical if you have big breasts. If you don't, if you're wearing a t-shirt or a dress that goes straight up and down your body, it's just gonna look like the fabrics is hanging straight down from your boobs. Not only this disguise your curves and make you look bigger than you are, but also on the side, it looks like a tent hanging down from your boobs. So this is just not flattering at all. This doesn't do any justice to your curves. So always go with a top or dress that defines your waist. Even if you're just wearing the t-shirt, tuck it in in the front or on the side to give it a little waist definition. Okay, here's what I promised. If you do like to wear a turtleneck sweater, here's a better way to make it look more flattering on you. Wear it as an underlayer and wear something on top of it. It can be a blazer or even a cardigan. It's gonna create vertical lines in front of your chest. This is gonna break up the space in front of your chest and it's no longer gonna look like there's one big space going from your neck all the way down to your chest. This is how you can continue to wear your turtleneck without drawing all the attention to your chest. Wrap tops are heaven sent for you. If you have big breasts, wrap tops are so flattering for you because one, it's dissecting the space in front of your chest. That's gonna balance out your big boobs. And two, it comes with a wrap. So that means it's defining your waist. If you have big boobs, make sure you have at least one wrap top in your closet. It's so feminine and also looks elegant. are not big, I am a big cup, but I love wrap tops. I got so many from Diamond Furstenberg over the years. Sometimes you may find the wrap tops a little too low in the front. If you're in a client meeting, going to the office, you just don't want to show any cleavage, here's a new hack for you. Wear something like this. I got this from Amazon. It's real inexpensive, but this can convert any of your bra into a cami bra. You just wear this on top of any of your bras, and now you wear your wrap top. Now you're perfectly covered. If you're wearing a button-down shirt, 
always unbutton the top couple of buttons. If you don't, this entire space is connected and they're closed. This is just like wearing a turtleneck sweater. This is just not the most flattering looks for you. And besides, you're probably gonna feel so restrictive because your boobs are bigger and your arms are flasher. When you open up the space, it's gonna elongate the neck area and it's gonna break up the space in the front and that is much more comfortable and better look for you. Wear straight leg jeans or pants. You might be wondering, why does it even matter? We're talking about big boobs. That's exactly why. Because you come across as top heavy, you want your jeans or pants to create a more balanced silhouette together with your top. If you wear something very skinny at your bottom, it's very easy to accentuate, to make it more obvious that you're top heavy. So straight leg, because it has more volume, but not overwhelming volume, like the white leg, they can better balance your silhouette. But this is not just limited to straight leg jeans. You can wear a lot of other leg shapes, such as flare leg, kick flare, or buka jeans. These all have a little bit more volume than the skinny jeans. They're not clinging to your thighs and your legs, so they can balance out your silhouette better. Just like the wrap tops, wrap dresses are extremely flattering for women with big breasts. I don't have big breasts, but I love wrap dresses. And I got so many wrap dresses from Diane von Furstenberg. And for you, they really flatter your shape because like the wrap tops, they divide up the space in the front and they center your waist. They really accentuate your assets. If you have big boobs, your breasts are taking up a lot more space on your torso. So if you wear high-rise jeans, it's quite possible it might look like your jeans is sticking right under your breasts. That's not the most flattering look. So does that mean if you have big boobs, then you have to wear low-rise or mid-rise jeans? It really depends. I don't think it's black and white. It all depends on your body shape. Having big boobs is just one feature of your body. Whether or not you should wear high-rise, mid-rise or low-rise really depends on another very important factor. How long is your rise? If you have big boobs and you have shorter rise, that will put you in the short torso category. And then yes, your most comfortable and best looks probably mid rise or even low rise because a normal low rise on someone else may look like a mid rise on you. However, if you are the latter, if you have big boobs and you have longer rise, a lot of the hourglass shaped women fall into this category. For you, wearing Anything other than high rise is just not comfortable. I can speak for that because I have a longer rise. Even if when I'm wearing mid rise jeans, tempted to keep pulling up the jeans because not hitting the right spot on my body. So if you have a longer rise, you can still wear high rise jeans, but maybe you can make your top cover part of your jeans so that it doesn't look like your jeans is sticking up way too high on your torso. A lot of women with apple body shape, inverted triangle body shape, hourglass body shape tend to have bigger breasts. But really, you can be any body shape and have bigger breasts. But here's the thing you may not know about. Each type of jeans are best suitable for a different body type. Now watch this video. What kind of jeans shape is best for your body type? <laughs> 